Baby Louie, written by Mark Richards. Fade in. Interior, Baby Louie's bedroom. Play school bar. Night. The cynical film noir lighting undermines innocent daycare room. Baby Louie, a midlife crisis trapped in a one-year-old's body, drowns his sorrows with a sippy cup of cider. You know, when you're young, wife seems wonderful and magical and all that other stuff. But then you turn one and all of a sudden, the magic disappears. Wipe that. Louis tries and fails to snap his fingers. Come on, snap. Forget it. The point is, chewing one ruined everything. My name's Wooey, and this is the endless pit of misery that is my wife. Interior, baby Louis' bedroom, crib, past. Sunlight beams, highlight the bedroom colors. Mummy and Daddy, 30s, watch over blissful Louis, who chews on a rattle. In those days, I would just wide back all morning, noon and night. I had two grown-ups who would wait on me, handsies and tootsies. A baby bop a boop boop How will we be, little, little wooey? Wife was good. All I needed was a quib and my suitie, and I was good. Interior, living room, later. Louis' first birthday. Mommy and Daddy opened Louis' present. Building blocks. We even celebrated my first year with what I believe is a card of birthday. Uh, I even got new toys. But then it happened. Louis bites on a block. Agony ensues. Interior. Baby Louis' bedroom, crib, night. Sad classical music accompanies Louis' pain. The pain kept me up all night. Yes, I've cried all night lots of times, but never this bad we. Interior, dentist's office, later. Mummy awaits while dentist, sixties, menacing, rubs his fingers around Louis' mouth. So Mommy took me to a, what's he called? A dentist to get rid of this pain. How rubbing his fingers in my mouth was supposed to help. I have no clue. Dentist holds up a mirror in front of Louis' face. Here, have a look. Oh, Louis, you got your first tooth. Louis gazes in horror at his grotesque first tooth. Interior, baby Louis' bedroom, play school bar, present. Louis shows off his tooth. Turns out these hideous monstrosities you call teeth grow in your mouth when you turn one. Why? Interior, baby Louis' bedroom, crib, past. Louis sucks on his pacifier. Each suck eases the teething until Louis returns to bliss. In time, I found my sudi took away most of the pain. For a minute, I was back in poor bliss. Daddy rips Louis out of his crib. Then all of a sudden, Mommy and Daddy started throwing these expectations at me. Interior, living room, continuous. Daddy plops Louis in front of excited family members. Now, I gotta learn to walk, cause crawling isn't good enough for them anymore. See what with we. Do they think I'm going to get this white on my fourth try? It's so high. Louis attempts to keep his balance like a tightrope walker. Vertigo kicks in. Louis falls, which rips his diaper. Interior. Interrogation room. Later. One light dangles over a dark room. Mommy and Daddy go Jack Bauer on Louis. But they weren't done with me for now. I gotta learn to talk. Can you say Mommy? Can you say Daddy? Mommy slams a bottle on the table. Can you say Papa? I could think of two bad words. I would have white to say. But then I started to grow more teeth. Interior, baby Louie's mouth, continuous. Baby teeth sprout through the gum in a grotesque manner. Interior, bathroom, continuous. Mummy brushes and flosses Louie's teeth, which feels like waterboard-like torture to him. Because they apparently need to be taken care of. I have to endure this inhuman torture twice a day for every day of my wife. Interior, baby Louie's bedroom, play school bar, present. Down the hatch for Louie. Ah, oh, sweet Juicy, where have you been my whole wife? Don't judge me. 
This is the only thing to keep the pain away since they took my suitie away. Yeah, that's right. Interior, baby Louis's bedroom, crib, past. Louis savers his pacifier. One day, I was just laying down, sucking the pain away when the grown-ups took my suitie. Daddy pops the pacifier out of Louis's mouth. What happened still haunts my dreams to this day. Five minutes later, the sweaty, fidgety Louis goes through pacifier withdrawal, hallucinations galore, with Louis in freefall. Interior, baby Louis's bedroom, play school bar, present. Louis hits the floor. The fall spills the sippy cup. My sippy! No! He sucks the cider out of the carpet. Door slams open. Alright, what's going on here? With blinding light behind him, Grandpa Grampy, 70s, poses like a superhero. That is, until he falls onto his wheelchair, revealing a crotchety, yet caring old man. Still teething day. Looks like it's your time for more of your Grampy's spiritual shot. Grampy fills the sippy cup with cider and a drip of bourbon. Now done to your mother, dear, okay? Okay. Now you should why I go wash my cure in there, okay? Grampy exits, down the hatch for Louis. I don't know what's in Grampy's juicy, but I savor every drop. Louis sucks his last drop. The grown-ups just don't seem to get me. Now Grampy, there's a grown-up who gets me. No one forcing him to walk. No teething for him. He just takes his teeth right out. I so wish I could do that. Louis swaggers around. In fact, when I grow up, I want to be just like Grampy. Whoa, I'm feeling sweepy. Louis passes out on the bar table and snores. Fade up.